Welcome to Kara Yoga. I'm Marianne Sedeby and thank you for joining me in my art studio for this session of yoga. Uh, Kara, Kara is a Gaelic word for friend and I chose to name my yoga Kara Yoga because I like the idea that um, when you're doing yoga you are being a friend to yourself by stretching, by strengthening muscles, by taking time to connect with your breath and just taking time out of your day. Uh, to do yoga, which is an activity I, I just love so much. So we're going to begin. If you can see Larry, he's my studio dog and he's just my pal. Today's his birthday, so he's joining us in this session. So we'll begin standing in mountain pose. And in mountain pose, you want to have your, your, your hips and your feet are aligned, shoulders rolled and back. You can relax them, drop your hands by your side. Feel your feet really uh, connecting with your mat. Anchored, as if you could visualize them anchored to the floor. And just let yourself be strong in the mountains. Your hips are level. If they're coming forward or back, picture they're a bucket of water. You're not spilling that water. Keeping the water contained in your, in your bucket. So we'll begin in the mountain with breath. And you could close your eyes for a moment. Just noticing. Notice yourself. Notice yourself standing in the room that you're in. Notice the sounds around you. Be aware of your space. Be aware of your breathing. And then we'll begin with a simple standing twist. So place your right hand on your left hip and take your left hand, place it on the small of your back and just gently twist, looking over your left shoulder. Try to keep with your knees facing forward, your feet are facing forward, just your upper body is twisting. If you'd like to go a little deeper into it, take your uh, left hand, release it from the small of your back and bring it over towards your right hip. Coming back to front, take your left hand, bring it to your right hip, right hand to the small of your back. So breathe and look over your right shoulder. Again, if you want to go a little further, take that right hand, bring it over to your left side. And then bringing it back to the front. Take your arms, breathe them up over your head. Nice breath in and breathe it down. Breathe it back up. And back down. This time, breathe it up and come into a forward fold, just falling forward. Allow your hands to relax. Widen your stance a little bit and take your arms and your hands and clasp your elbows and just rock side to side. Shake your head yes. Nod your head. Nod your head yes. Shake, shake your head no. Allow yourself to stretch that spine. Then releasing your hands, place them on your thighs, coming into jackknife pose. So your hands are on your thighs, your back is flat. You're looking down toward the floor. And then slowly breathe it back up, coming back to center and we're going to begin our warrior sequence so we're going to step to the front of the mat okay Oops, sorry larry scared the dog okay step into the front of the mat we're going to take our right foot we're going to step it back okay you want your feet to be about three feet apart and you want your left leg facing forward right foot is angled out that way. Hips are facing the front. Find your balance and bring your arms up. Both feet should be anchored, kind of gripping. I use them to grip, grip the mat, help me maintain my balance. Arms are up, shoulders are dropped, and I'm going to bring it forward. I'm going to swing my arms back. I'll show you this from this point of view. Arms are back, upper body is resting on my left thigh. 
and then reach, sort of clasp your hands behind your back and then come back up, arching back. If this is uncomfortable to hold your hands, then just release your hands, resting your hands by your side and then bring them up over your head. We're going to come into warrior two from here. So go ahead and align your left heel and your right instep. Let's turn this way so I can see you. So left heel, right instep. Should be, it's like if there was a cord connecting them. Okay. And then you're going to take your arms, you're going to extend them out. Be sure you can see the toes of the left foot. Check in with your arms. Look back to your right arm, look forward to your left arm, drop your shoulders and visualize your arms as a long straight line. Set your gaze out over your left fingertips, breathe into it. Peaceful warrior, what would you stand up for? Peacefully, what you believe in. You're going to take your right hand, you're going to bring it down to your right thigh. You're going to bring your left arm up. You can sort of straighten your left leg. Look up towards the ceiling. Always breathing. And then go ahead and bend the left leg and scoot the foot forward a little bit further. And you're going to rest your left hand on your left thigh. You're going to bring your right arm up over your right ear and extend all the way from your right, your hand to your, your uh, foot. Keep your chest facing outward. So you want to be leaning forward. Try to be straight facing outward. Breathe into it. Look down to the floor or you can look across the room or up toward the ceiling. Looking down is probably best for balance. Then take your arm, bring it behind your back, reaching for your left side. And bringing it back up. And then releasing your elbow and coming back into your warrior two. And then from here in the five point star. So your feet are going to be facing outward. And your arms are going to come up and they're open. Be arching back. Fingertips are open and wide. And then releasing our hands bringing it back down, taking our feet, bringing it center, and we're going to revisit warrior on the other side. So come back to the fronts of our mats, take your left foot, you're going to extend it back, and I'll show you on this side. The left foot is extended back, okay? The foot is angled out this way, right foot's forward, my hips are facing forward, my arms come up, Arch back. And then I'm going to come forward over that right leg, bringing my body to rest on my right thigh. I'm going to clasp my hands behind my back. My feet are really anchored, holding me in place. And then I'm going to go ahead and breathe up, still holding my hands behind my back. Again, if it's uncomfortable to holding your hand to hold your hands here, just release them by your side, and then we're going to swing our arms up. And then coming into warrior two. So our right heel and our left instep are aligned as if there's an invisible cord connecting them. Bending the right leg, be sure you can see the right toes. Taking your arms, extend them out, shoulders are dropped, look back, check with your left hand, 
Check your right arms are straight. You're going to set your gaze out over your right fingertips. Breathing into it. Take your left hand, bring it down to your left thigh, bring your right arm up. Straightening the right leg gently, don't lock the knee, even be slightly bent. Looking up toward the ceiling. And then take the right foot, scooch it forward a little bit. Bend the right leg, rest your right elbow on your right thigh. Left arm comes up, we're facing outward. Looking out over the room. Visualize your left side of your body as a nice straight line. Take your left arm, bring it behind your body, reaching for your right side. And then back up over your ear. And then releasing from this, coming back to our five-pointed star. So feet are pointing outward. We bring our arms so they're up and open. Fingertips stretched wide. Send your breath all the way into your belly. And then back down. Bringing your hands to your heart center. And we're going to come into a forward fold. So the legs are still wide, open wide like the five point of star. And their feet are slightly angled out. We're just going to, you got your hands at your heart center. You're going to bring it forward so you come about halfway down and stop. So it's like a wide leg table pose. Adjust your feet. If the having the feet pointed outward feels uncomfortable, bring the toes inward. Make modifications for your comfort. And then bring your hands all the way to the floor so they're beneath you. You need your face. Walk it forward just a little bit. It's like a wide-legged table pose. Breathe into that stretch. Take your left hand, place it beneath your face, and bring your right arm up into a twist. Looking up towards your ceiling. And then back down, bring your right hand beneath your face and bring your left arm up in a twist. And then back down to the floor and then bring your hands so they're beneath your body and then reverse the direction of your hands and then walk them all the way beneath you. Bend your knees a little bit, reaching behind you. Feel the stretch in your back, your shoulder blade. And then walk it slowly back to the front, anchoring yourself with your feet and your knees, your legs, and then bring your hands to your heart center. You come all the way up nice and slow. Breathe it back up in the five-pointed star. Releasing, coming out of your five-pointed star. I'm facing the front of your mat again. Take your hips, bring them about hip distance or a little wider. And just paint some nice big circles with your hips. Opening, opening up, loosening up the joints. Breathe it in the other direction. And then try to paint figure eights with your hips. And then reverse that. I think I reversed it. And then bring it back to neutral. And then we'll come into a standing tree pose. So begin on your left side, really feel that left foot anchor through your foot, just gripping it. Just even take your toes, kind of curl them a little, just get, get a grip. And then tree, you either place your foot against your ankle, your calf, or your inner thigh. So I have your leg kind of facing outward, bringing your arms up. Bring them to your heart center. 
raising them over your head. Back down, back to front, back to heart center, and then releasing. And coming into tree on your other side, so anchoring your right foot, taking your left foot either against your calf, inner thigh, or ankle, not your knee. Spread this out, find your balance, find something you can stare at that's still for a focal point. Raising your arms up over your head. Breathing into your belly. Try to align your arms and your ears. Bringing it back down. Come back to your heart center. And back. We'll end. We'll do one more balancing pose, and that will be dancer. So you're going to anchor your. We'll start with our. Um, let's start with holding our right leg up. So you're going to anchor your left foot, and if you have something you can hold on to, a wall for balance or a chair, that's fine. I'm um, going to bend the right leg, reach back for the right foot, try to hold on to the inside of the right foot, bringing your hips down. Bending your left arm out. I'm having difficulty with balance. Let's try it again. I have too many yoga mats here, so they're a little soft. And so if you have a hard surface to stand on, that will help you. There we go. parallel with the floor and coming down we we'll do that on the other side so reaching back find your anchor or anchor that right foot reach back for your left foot hold it on the inside bringing your hips down Dog gets nervous when I make sudden noises, especially in the studio. He's seen too many things fall when I'm moving easels or artwork. He gets a little skittish in here, so he jumped <laughs> when I moved it. Okay, so that's it on the uh, balancing poses. Let's come back to our mountain pose, so just relaxing into mountain. Come back to the hips being level, lowering your shoulders. Relax your hands by your side. Take a moment, close your eyes, bring your hands to your heart center. Allow yourself to soften in this strong mountain pose. Relax your jaw, your forehead. Tend to your breath. Walk as if you are kissing the earth with your feet. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for this session of Kari Yoga. And if you choose, you can go ahead and lay down on your mat and have a Shavasana session after this relaxing and I hope helpful movement. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you at the next session. Bye.